Welcome to Lisa's Littles. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today is Tuesday. Happy Tuesday, everyone. I hope everyone is having a great day. I am here with Mia and Pat and Pete, and we are doing two themes on this Thursday. I was going to do three. I was going to bring out Cubby, the teddy bear. You guys haven't seen him in a while, but I decided against it. These three were enough to carry out here. So I have Pat and Pete for Tiny Tuesday. And as you can see, they're sitting in Mia's lap. And then I have Miss Happy Mia for Toddler Tuesday, hosted by Renee at Renee's Reborns, Sam at Reborn Love Babies, and now Cena at, I believe her channel is Cena's Dolls. You guys, I am horrible with channel names, so I do apologize, but I will, as always, have the channels linked in the description of the channels that are hosting the themes. Uh, Tiny Tuesday, I am not sure who hosts Tiny Tuesday. This is only the second or third time that I've done it. Yes, I should have done my research better before I came on to do it, but I didn't. Anywho, I have Pat and Pete here for Tiny Tuesday, and then I have Mia here for Toddler Tuesday, and Cena chose something edible. And so as you can see, Mia has on her, well, she shares it with Emma, believe it or not, because Mia can wear a zero to three months and a three months, and this outfit is a three months, and it has strawberries all over it. And this is one of those lovely vintage outfits that I got off of eBay in one of the vintage lots. And it is white, and it has two little red polka dotted bows. It has red buttons. It has little red polka dots, little red flowers, and strawberries all over it. And underneath it has a short sleeve white shirt that has a lapel that has strawberries on the lapel too, but you can't see it because I forgot to put it outside of the jumpsuit. So, sorry about that. Anywho, there is Mia for Toddler Tuesday, something edible. And then like I said, Pat and Peter here for Tiny Tuesday. And I'm sure that you guys have all seen my shorts of Pat and Pete swimming and farting in the pool. Those boys are like twins. They like to do everything the same. It was pretty funny because late last night I went outside with my dog and my son <laughs> and the pool still had water in it. So I'm like, you know, Pete hasn't went swimming for a while. So I'll just let Pete take a late night swim. And as soon as I put it, him in the pool and he started swimming around, he started farting just like Patrick did. So I went ahead and recorded and put a short up of that. I think it's pretty funny. Um, the comments, of course, were funny. I did have one funny comment that I started laughing about. But no rude comments, which I was surprised. Um, yesterday was Monday. I do apologize for not getting a video up yesterday. I haven't been feeling well since Sunday maybe Saturday, I don't even remember, but um, my doctor, I'm only on one medication, which is blood pressure medication, and I was borderline high blood pressure. So she put me on five milligrams of blood pressure medication until I can lose weight where I don't need the blood pressure medication at all. My blood pressure was just borderline high. It wasn't anything major. So she put me on five milligrams. She started me out on one prescription last summer and I took it for a couple of months and I felt absolutely horrible. Like the worst that I have ever felt in my life. And so I went back to her and I'm like, listen, I can't function daily. Being on this medication is horrible. It is making me feel uh, terrible. Like the worst I've ever felt in my entire life. So she's like, okay, no problem. She put me on it in August. I went back to her in October because I gave it a couple of months to start working but the side effects just would not go away. So she switched me to another medication at the end of October. I believe it was the end of October, beginning of November. I have been on that medication. Um, that is the only prescription medication that I take. It is only five milligrams, but I have been on it for a few months now, about six months, and I have started to develop side effects from it. Um, I went on the internet and did some research 
research on the medication and there was tons and tons of credible sites who said that the side effects I am experiencing, there have been a ton of people who also experienced the same thing. Some people were only on it for a few weeks and some people were on it for a couple of years and developed the side effects that I have. So I am going to call the doctor's office tomorrow and see if I can set up an appointment to go in and have her change it yet once again because um, the side effects I'm experiencing with this medication are not quite as bad as the first blood pressure medication, but enough to drive me nuts to where I can function daily, but I don't want to um, because your mind is constantly thinking about the side effects that you're getting from the medication. <laughs> and I don't want to stop at cold turkey because I know that that is not good for you either. So that is why I'm going to go ahead and contact her. The first, it's really weird because I started taking the medication and I would get the side effects, just very, very mild side effects when I started taking it. About two months after I started taking it, I started getting really mild side effects and I didn't think anything of it. And then since I've been on it for about six months and because it's such a low dose, it took a while for the full effect of the side effects to kick in is what I'm assuming. And that's what I was told before when I went to the doctor. When she had me on a medication that was a low dose, she said, because it's such a low dose, it may take a while to, for the side effects to kick in because it's such a low dose. And so that is what I'm thinking is happening with this. I don't like the side effects. One of the big side effects I'm having is heart palpitations. I do not like it. I hate it. Before she put me on this medication, I maybe had one heart palpitation every three years. And now I'm getting them like for a week, like every day for a week, and then it'll go away for a few days and then come back. And what it is is like, I'm having them way more often since I've been on this medication than I ever have my entire life. And I've stopped taking everything except the blood pressure medication and I'm still having them so I'm pretty sure like 99.9% .9 sure that that is what is wrong because I'm having no other symptoms with the heart palpitations except for the heart palpitations and I'm pretty sure that if it was something else it would have been when I was not taking the medication so anywho I don't know I'm pretty sure that is the medication because I've had problems with different medications before. So anyways, I'm gonna call the doctor tomorrow about that and see if I can get into her to have her change it. Other than that, guys, that is why I didn't have a video up yesterday. I just wasn't feeling well. So I hope that you guys all had a good Monday and I hope that you all are having a nice Tuesday. It is actually partially cloudy. I'll show you guys. I'm trying to make this video. It is gray over here. And then if we swing around to this side, it is actually blue. And my phone, my weather app on my phone, yes, we have another breeze again. The weather app on my phone did say that we had chance of thunderstorms from 8 a.m. to 1 a.m. or 8 a.m. 8 p.m. to 1 a.m. But I really don't think that they're gonna materialize here. I think that it is probably going to be up in the foothills. Well, guys, that's about it for this Tuesday. Mia, Patrick, and Pete and I hope you all had a wonderful day. And with that being said, that's going to do it for this video. We hope you enjoyed watching it as much as we enjoyed making it for you. And until next time, bye, guys. Thanks for watching.